Right, so we're back on the River Air again today with a bit of fishing. Beautiful day, it's about 20 degrees, 10th of May I think it is today. So, river's dropped a wee bit from the last time I was down. Still a good bit of colour to it, so it's not too clear. To be honest, I'm just having a look. I'm hoping to be able to fish dry flies today because we haven't really had this May or spring rise where you get all the fish taking the flies on the top of the water yet. It's due any time now. But um, seen plenty of flies flying above the water the last few times up and down. But I haven't actually seen any fish, well, very few fish rising. We haven't had the olives and all that yet. It's just been granums really. So, um, I had kind of hoped that we might be seeing them, but I'm not sure if it's a bit late in the day. Often the rise is at lunchtime, so that's six at night now, so it's possible we've missed it, but I don't know. It's a beautiful day for fishing anyway, so whether we catch some fish or not, it doesn't really matter. It's just nice to be by the river for a couple of hours to chill out. Certainly a beautiful evening for it. Right, I'm going to have a wee walk and see if I can spot any rising fish anywhere. And the idea is hopefully we can get set up and we can catch us some trout on dry flies. That's the plan. Uh, there's very little moving. There's one or two fish rising here and there. But to be honest, there's not many flies even above the water today. Maybe they're just not about, but anyway, we're going to have a few casts anyway. A bit of prospecting with a dry fly. So when I was setting up, there's been a fish rising underneath quite close in in the shallows under this beech tree here so we're going to start with that one might just be a wee small or a par but it's uh, worth a try Oh Just fishing a wee olive. confident with that one anyway but there's been one or two fish across the other side rising so we'll have a prospect for them as well it's just not much of a back cast here so we're going to have to watch and the water's quite low so if I wade in and I'm not careful I'm going to scare them away
You can see the bow waves of me wading. I might have already scared them off. It's hard going. Alright. Lovely place to come for a walk anyway, with all the wild garlic and it's lovely and warm. About 20 degrees, you can probably have a t-shirt. Just sort of looking to see if we can see any fish rising anywhere. Not looking very promising. I've just seen one fish rise about three quarters of the way across there. Round about I actually caught the first brown trout of the season on a dry on that two videos ago. So I'm going to stand and watch for another five or ten minutes just to make sure there's nothing rising closer in. Because um, either that or I'll just prospect and fish my way across. I'm not sure yet. But with a bit of luck, nice to get at least one fish. We've been a bit thin on the ground this year so far. So I've only seen that one fish rise about three quarters of the way across. But I'm going to prospect this anyway, just in case. We've got a wee olive fly on, which is often, well, previous years around about this time, that's what's been on the water. There is one or two flies starting to come on. I don't know if I'm imagining that or not, but it looks like there's a few flies above the water now, where on that other pool there wasn't. There's also lots of um, seeds floating in the air. Sort of dandelion sort of seeds or something similar. It's a wee bit short from where I saw that fish. It's probably slightly weirder.
Yep, this just runs to the fly there, but I think it's very small. Come on. Great. Snap the leader, lost the fly. Right, so I've took off the furled leader. I'm not going to be fishing dry flies anymore because there's nothing rising. So I've put on two flies just on five pound uh, nylon. We're going to try just some wet flies. So, one on the bottom of the point is this. I don't know how well you can see it. It's a bit like a kind of grub or something. The original pattern was a caddis pattern, but I adapted it a wee bit. And because it's the river, I've put a hackle on it just to give it a wee bit of movement. A very sparse hackle. So, it's a bit like a caddis or some sort of grub. And the other one is that. I don't know what it is. It's just a... Uh, some sort of nymphy little fish patterns, I suppose, a bit like a nymph. Um, it's got UV resin on the top, and um, as you can see, it's got I think it's a two mil, maybe it's three mil gold bead to get down a bit, and then just a grizzle hackle. So, anyway, we're going to try this and see. I've seen one or two fish moving, but I don't think it's anything very big i think a lot of it's actually par because there's still quite a lot of uh, salmon par or smokes in the river it's a good sign for the river you know but i don't really want to catch them it's trout we're after but they seem to be a bit scarce well they just haven't started yet i don't think Both of these flies sink quite well, so it should get down a wee bit. So there's a wee bit of movement in the water there, a bit like a fish. It's a lovely evening. There is one or two flies about, but just nothing on the water yet. I guess it's a slow season this year. Last year by this time, I think, or maybe it was two years ago, there was fish taking flies off the water and flies on the water. But it's 
been a bit slow generally for me this year so far fishing but nice to be out so I'm not moaning about it but I mean I even took a spinning rod and a spinner down the last time and never had any well caught one wee tiny trout I think I can't remember maybe I didn't it wasn't much anyway This is quite a nice wee run and there's a few more granums here. So I don't see them on the water yet but there's definitely more flies in the air in this pool. Nice wee pool and run actually.
And this is a good wee run here. I'll be surprised if there's not at least one trout or grayling in here. Not sure if they'll like these flies, that's the only thing. But... And black spider always catches, but I want to try something a bit different. You always use the same flies. Not always so good. Try different things. Keep it interesting. So it's been lovely to be by the river for a couple of hours, but I think it's another blank. It just seems to be the way of things at the moment. Whatever you try and use, you don't get anything. Oh, there we go. This goes to show, doesn't it? Same as last word. A small crate or a small grain, I think.
There we are, a grub come out in the net. Lovely wee gravy. Oh. There we go. Oh well, so we got one fish. So I'll fish on a wee bit more and if I catch anything else I'll stick the camera on but I'm more or less going to go home I think, well I was going to go home in a minute. So anyway, if you've enjoyed today's fishing programme, feel free to subscribe to the channel and like the video. It's not that exciting I'm afraid, we're still not catching very much, but not for lack of trying. It's been a beautiful day by the, or after, evening by the river and um, with a bit of luck. We might catch, start getting some on dry flies soon. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, see you the next time. <laughs>